welcome back. So、uh, today I'm going to、uh, show you guys a tutorial on how to、uh, do the two-step procedure. If you have the ABS and your、uh, VSA with the exclamation mark inside a triangle, so if you use the scan tool, try to clear out, it's not gonna clear. But make sure all your sensor is working and the ABS is nothing wrong with it. Has to、uh, deal with something that、uh, triggered the ABS and then a the VSA light. So anyway, you will need to、uh, locate your OBD2、uh, connector, which is on the bottom of the steering wheel column. And I draw a graph. So if you got a Y connector on the bottom right here. You will need to count from the left hand side: one, two, three, four. We will need to short out the four pin and then the nine pin together. So you will need to use a paper clip or a hot wire to jump those two wire together. So it'll be five, six, seven, eight. This is the pin nine right here. So I'm gonna use this、uh, metal、uh, paper clip that I'm gonna bend it later on. So step number one is to、uh, locate the OBD2 connector and show the pin four and nine with the paper clip or a wire. And、uh, we're gonna look at the dash, monitor the ABS on the dash. So we're gonna press the brake down and hold it down. While we turn the ignition on without starting the car into the on position, and then、uh, ABS will come on until you see the ABS、uh, goes off. You will be going to release the brake off the pedal, and then、uh, after that, the ABS light will come back on. Then we're gonna press the brake down again and wait for the ABS light to go off, and then after that, we're gonna release the brake again. So the ABS、uh, light will blink twice, so that will confirm the reset of your ABS、uh, light. Okay. So right now I'm going to show it to you guys. Right now, we have the ABS、uh, light that is on, and then the VSA with the exclamation mark inside the triangle. So let's go and then、uh, go down there and then、uh, show out the pin number four and nine. All right, so let's go and then、uh, go under here. So there's a、uh, one, two, three, four, and then a、uh, pin number nine is right here. I'm gonna fold the paper clip. So I can jump those two pin together, okay? It's pin number four. One, two, three, four. Uh. All right. So we uh. Show out those two pin, and then、uh, let's go up there and turn the ignition on and stuff like that. So I'm gonna hold the brake down and then turn the ignition to on position. Don't start the car. So the ABS light went off. Hold on, I gotta do it again because I. I was talking. So once the ABS、uh, light went off, we're gonna release the brake. So I'm gonna start over again. Hit the brake. Start the ignition on. ABS off. Let go the brake. ABS light is gonna come on. Gonna hit the brake again. And light come on. And hopefully it's gonna release. Blink twice. One, two. There you go. So we just、uh, reset the ABS already, all right? And then after that, we're gonna to take out the pin out of、uh, number four. So we're gonna let the pin stay on the number nine, and then、uh, short the ground, connect that to the ground with the pin nine, and that's gonna reset the VSA.
Oh, I'm just going to use this uh, black wire from my uh, voltmeter and then uh, jump it. Sometimes remove number four. Keep the knife stay there. Alright, so I use the paper wire and loop around the ground wire. And I'm just gonna use this to touch the and then I'm going to touch the ground. Which is the screw right here. By the door. So uh, without hitting the brake or anything, we're just going to turn the ignition on. Uh, and then uh, we're going to monitor the ABS. When the ABS light goes off, you need to hit the VSA one time. VSA uh, off uh, button, you're gonna hit the VSA off uh, button one time and then uh, your APS light should come back on and then we're gonna hit the VSA button one more time you're gonna wait until all the lights uh, goes off okay and then uh, that should uh, reset everything so I need to do both hands so let's go ahead and do this so yeah, anyway, that's how you reset it. But unfortunately, uh, hopefully my sensor is not bad. I mean, I need to check my sensor if there's any problem with the sensor is uh, faulty or anything. But that's how you reset it. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notification or drop any comments down below. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Like always. Peace.